This is a video for a Kusadama. Now a Kusadama refers to any kind of origami model that has a bunch of different sheets of paper that are the same, that you've made a couple of different units, and you put it together to make something a, a little bit cooler. So for example, this has a number of different units that are all exactly the same in different colors, and they get weaved together to create something a little bit bigger. Uh, and sometimes that's also referred to in origami as a modular. So for that Kusadama ball, we're going to start with one sheet of paper and we're going to make a diagonal fold. So with the white side up, we're going to fold a diagonal fold. So make sure that that's nice and lined up so it's not off to the side at all, but very precise. Go ahead and make that nice diagonal fold. Open it back up and then the other diagonal fold as well. Both of those. So when you open it up and look at it, it'll have a nice cross right in the middle of the paper. What we're going to do next is we're going to do two blintz folds. So we're going to take two corners and fold them into the exact middle of the paper. And these two corners that we're going to do are on opposite edges, opposite sides. So these two right here are going to come up and meet each other right in the middle, just like that. Next, we're going to flip the paper over and we're going to do a covered fold. So we're going to take these two edges right here at the top and fold them into the middle line of the paper. And when you do this, make sure that you keep it nice and flat on the table because there's that extra panel in the back that we want to keep locked down there. So go ahead and take this edge at the bottom, fold it up to the middle line, and then once you have, there's this extra panel right here. Go ahead and pick that up and then tuck it underneath so that it's no longer locked so that it's no longer locked behind the paper, but it's nice and free, just like that. So do that on the bottom, also on the top, just like this, nice and lined up. And then once again, you see that little extra tab, go ahead and pick it up and tuck that underneath, just like that. Now, next, we've got the two corners of the paper, we're gonna fold those into the edges of the color. So if this is a nice square, go ahead and cut that square in half and hide all the color right there. So it'll just be a, a white area. Just like this. Now next is a very important step whenever you're making a modular or a kusadama because you want to make sure that all of the units are exactly the same. So what you're going to do is you're going to decide a spot that you want to fold up. I'm going to do the top left and the bottom right corner. So I'm going to take this corner right here and I'm going to fold it up. And make sure that you're consistent all the way throughout making all the different units because if I made one with the bottom corner folded up like this but I made another one with the opposite corner, they wouldn't intersect. They wouldn't lock up the way you want them to. So go ahead and pick a side. I'm going to take the top left and the bottom right and fold those down and then open them back up and then we're going to weave them now under the panel. So go ahead and pick this panel up. You see I'm going to take this edge right here, this triangle, and I'm going to fold it underneath just like that. It sort of weaves underneath that panel on this side. You can also think about it if you rotate it around, you're just going to do the exact same thing on the other one. Just like that. So now we have them both weaved underneath just like that. Next, flip the paper over, and from this parallelogram right here, what we're going to do is we're going to take the bottom corner, and we're going to fold it up to that edge. When that happens, it should line up nicely with a couple of spots. If you look on the other side of the paper, it's just right where that triangle lines up. That's what's going to get folded behind. And then take the top point and fold it down. Again, it should, it should line up, you should butt up right up against each other on the other edge like this, and then now I'm going to fold it in half backwards. I'm just going to bend these two back this way. And this is your unit for this modular. Once I open this up, this is the entire unit that we're going to use. And what you need are several of these. It depends on how big of the ball you want to make. 
For the, for the example of this one for, uh, that I was using right here, these are a little bit smaller units than this. This ball will end up being probably about this big, but you could also make one that's a little bit more tighter, a little bit smaller, or even a cube if you wanted to. So make a couple more of these units. I've got a few handy right here. I'm gonna show you how they all intersect. So the way this works with modulars, you see how all three of these units are exactly the same. The way a modular works is there's always a pocket and a tab. Now the tab right here is going to be this white point right here. That's the tab and the pocket is going to be this triangle right here. You see how if I open it up just a little bit, you see how there's a little tab that that's where the tabs are going to fit into that pocket right there on each of these. So take another unit and I'll, I'm going to angle it so that the two of them are sort of perpendicular where they would intersect like this. And you see how this tab right here will slide nicely right into that pocket, just like that. And then from there, we're going to take the next one and this is going to wrap around to make a pyramid or a triangle. You see how that's the pocket right there. I'm going to take this tab, slide it in, and you see how that'll make a full pyramid. Now this one right over here, the problem with that is that one was underneath, so go ahead and bring that up to the top. And you see how the three of them now will weave into each other to create a nice, a pretty tight interlocking shape, just like this. And from here, you're just going to keep adding units and working your way around. You'll see how there's another pocket right there, right there, right there, and you just keep adding tabs all the way around until you come up with the finished modular and it'll look something like this.